we're using these. This is a, that's a 25 gallon grub bag. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead. This is our weekend vlog. We got a few things we're doing this weekend. It, it is Mother's Day weekend, so we don't have as much time, obviously, um, because we have to celebrate at least Angela's mom, because Angela's mom is here. My mother is not. <laughs> My mother is in North Carolina. But uh, so we got something to do on Mother's Day for them. So we don't have as much time on Sunday, but we're going to try and get some stuff done today here, Saturday. And we should have enough to at least show you what's going on anyways. We have a few things we're doing. Like I said, we're using these. This is a, that's a 25 gallon grub bag. We've got three of them out here. We did buy a pack, buy a pack of 10, <laughs> but we're using three of those today to do something. As well as cleaning out our center block bed for some, to plant our beets because we love beets. <laughs> Pretty typical, right? So <laughs> we're gonna do that. And possibly, hopefully, Lord willing in the creek don't rise, which that creek has risen, but <laughs> we got a lot of rain last night. But hopefully, we're gonna have a chance to build a fence, a little quick fence to uh, pr protect our peas that we have in the ground because we've got, I think we still have three, maybe just two little rabbits. We had three baby rabbits running around at one time. I think we got two left, but they like to eat greenery. <laughs> so there we gotta build a, uh, just a quick fence to prevent them, those uh, rabbits from eating our, uh, our peas and everything else we put in the ground, okay? The first thing we had to do was get our cinder block bed ready to plant our beets in because that's just super important to me. I love planting beets. So what we've done was we took our little three-pronged claw and start breaking up the soil because it's it's pretty loose anyways. We use potting mix and we start breaking up that soil and there's a, there's a decent amount of chickweed in there which our chickens love the chickweed so I harvested the chickweed out of there, broke it up, put it in our um, pan, our feed pan that we use for our chicken treats and then found some other dandelion greens broke them up took them down to the chickens and they absolutely love them so it was nothing after that I had to put in a couple more bags of dirt just to get the soil right and now here we are getting ready to plant these awesome Detroit dark red beets last year we planted these and albino beets and I gotta be honest with you we haven't ate the albino beets they grew well these grew well um, we have a beet harvest video somewhere that we might even link in the top of the screen, but we haven't ate the albino ones yet. <laughs> Just simply because, I mean, we pickled them all. We pickled all the beets, by the way. We pickled them all, and we haven't ate them yet. So I'm not planting them this year. <laughs> Doesn't mean they're not any good, it means we haven't ate them. So I'm just gonna plant these, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a day. These are beet seeds, all right? They're cluster seeds, just like Swiss Yard, like I talked about before in another video. And they would do well to be soaked. Uh, you could even soak them for up to 24 hours. We don't. Uh, we well, we didn't. How about that? We did not. Only because it's the soil's kind of wet as it is. We've had a lot of rain recently, so I'm just gonna plant them and keep them real, not, nice and watered myself, and they should be just fine. I should go ahead and tell you though that we did actually amend the soil as well. Um, we didn't put fresh dirt across the entire bed. Only about the front half here because the rest of it was deep enough. So we amended the, the soil with kelp meal, with some azomite, uh, with some worm castings, and uh, down there, a raised bed plant food. Uh, this actually needs some nitrogen. Beets need some nitrogen, but more phosphorus and potassium because, well, it's a root crop, and again, root crops need more phosphorus, phosphorus and potassium to develop the roots better and gives you a better harvest. Now to plant these beets, I wanna go through, I'm gonna go through and pre-drill my holes with this. <laughs> I'm gonna go through and just put one, kind of, kind of pattern them, right, just like that. That way I can see where I'm at. Make sure I keep proper spacing before I put the beets, the beet seeds actually in the hole. So I kind of do that. I'll do that for a little while. Then my knees are gonna get tired, so I'm gonna have to stand up. So that happens when you turn 40. And after I've done that to, to a few spots, I'm just gonna go through and drop a seed in each one. Very, very simple. Now these are cluster seeds, so more than one plant will most likely come up from each seed. So eventually, you gotta thin them. And it's, it is knee tiring and uh, back tiring work. Now this one's gonna have about four plants. 
<laughs> but uh, it is tiring on your body to do these things. But if you enjoy pickled beets the way this Western North Carolina hillbilly enjoys pickled beets, then it's well worth it. One thing we try to do when we uh, weed out these raised beds, take the weeds that we know the chickens are gonna eat and not they enjoy <laughs> and try to feed it to them because, well, I'm not eating them. I'm just throwing them out, right? Burn them or compost them or something. But these girls right here, you girls want this, huh? Yeah, they look excited, don't they? <laughs> they love it. So, and it's good for them. Good for them. They produce really good eggs because of it. And therefore, I get to eat really good eggs. <laughs> and Munchkin's let me know she laid an egg. Hey, kiddos. Hey there. There you go, girls. Yeah, see, they really love it. If you stand in it, it's all yours, right, Tootie? See, I told you, munchkin laid. Beautiful egg. How about you, Madeline? What about you? Are you gonna lay an egg? It's okay, Maddie. This stuff never gets old. I love watching these girls eat fresh greens, eat, eat the, eat beautiful, Beautiful weeds that we don't that we don't need, but yet they're gonna they're gonna kill them. Now we're over here. We got our we got our um, step ins right here. Okay, these step ins buy them really cheap at Tractor Supply. They're like a couple bucks, no big deal. They are perfect for for at home gardeners or or um, homesteaders who have a lot of a lot of space or anything else. But they're great mobile fence posts essentially that you can create an electric wire with if we need to which we might do that later and also it'll hold this right here that's chicken wire but it's not really great for, for keeping your chickens safe because predators can rip right through it if they're really serious about it so but it's really good for uh creating small fences so we're going to roll this out real fast and um create a small fence to keep these rabbits off of our um sugar snap bees but Although they've already done a little damage, I can show you that real fast. As you can see, this end has been bit off. This end has been bit off. There's somebody that's been taken right down to the ground. These have been bit off right here. Rabbits are cute, but they like to eat too. So we gotta, we gotta keep them off of these, okay? The fence is done. All I have to do is simply roll this across these uh, pegs and just go with the roll essentially. Now, if you was doing this for chicken wire, I wouldn't do it that way. I would do it I would do it reverse so it'd make it tighter but for this we just had to get it down and so we go we rolled with the with the roll of the wire itself all right so now we've got these 25 gallon grow bags that we are trying to fill now a 25 gallon grow bag by the way takes quite a bit of dirt <laughs> all right we've already pre-filled some of them this is three cubic foot of dirt in here so it's two one and a half cubic foot bags so that's in there each one of these has got a one and a half cubic foot bag already but we got to get them filled up and then so we can plant our blueberries in them we bought three blueberry bushes we bought two blue crop and one reka i think so it's called um i have to look at it again but we bought them we already had three blueberry bushes that sadly enough i messed up yeah these are called reka all right <laughs> i messed them up we didn't know what we were doing very much with them and we thought hey they need acid a lot of blueberries, a lot of blueberries do need acid uh but these were blueberries that were good for a northern climate, so they don't need as much acid. Well, I use coffee grounds around them, and honestly, they just got too hot. There's too much nitrogen from the coffee grounds and too much acid from the coffee grounds. And while we probably could have nursed them back to health, I'd rather just buy uh, some fresh ones <laughs> and put them in the dirt that we want them in and keep them mobile. We can put them where we want them and take them with us if we happen to buy a larger property sometime. So that way we don't lose our investment, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish filling these up and plant these blueberries. All right, so here's our blueberries. We got these from Gurney's, is that correct, Ange? Yeah. All right, got them from Gurney's. Uh, we bought the jumbo, get, you, you can buy some that are lesser, some that are more. These are the jumbo, so we got a head start. They're bigger plants. 
So we're just gonna put them in these grow bags. Uh, a bigger, a larger grow bag, obviously. It's a 25 gallon, like I said. It's a larger one so that um, it has plenty of space for its roots to develop and uh, grow. And do you want now, Angie, do you want to break these roots up or you want to leave them whole? You want to break them up just a little bit. Break them up a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit at the bottom and sit them down in here. We're going to plant it a little high so we can add dirt as it yeah, settles. Exactly. Because this uh, potting mix is going to settle, okay? It's just, that's what it's going to do. It's so light, it's going to settle. And so we didn't fill these bags up all the way because we wanted room to grow up. So it's going to settle. We planted it a little high, see? So you can see we planted it a little high, but that way we can put more uh, dirt and or mulch. We can mulch it with the chicken bedding in the fall every time, so every year. That way we got room to build up. And do that, and you want to make sure you water them really well until they take root. All right, we got a good bit of work done this weekend. We're inside now, and, and we're over here. We got some chicken that Angela had uh, made some broth with her earlier. So she pulled this off a whole chicken. We mixed it with our apple barbecue sauce that we made last fall. And we're gonna put this on some toasted bread here and a little bit of extra sharp cheddar cheese. And we got three beautiful sandwiches out of it. So we're, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> We're gonna sit down, eat our sandwiches, and have a good evening. So we do appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for watching. We love you guys so much. My name is Jason. It's Angela Kay. It's our Christian homestead. We love you guys. God bless you and goodbye.